planning, you need to consider three things I'm going to show you today. So then you can make it happen. Okay, so let, let's go for the first one. So the first one is a really simple one, but, but it's about being honest with yourself. So something that you need to ask yourself is really important. Is like, is the things that I'm doing at the moment or that I want to do in the 2023 is realistic and achievable to what I want to do and what I can do right now? Because you might be looking for a 10% body fat, 8% body fat. You want to just get rid of fully of your belly. But you need to take into consideration and being honest with yourself if that's going to be possible, okay, in a year time. Because if your lifestyle, for example, is quite hard, if you think that you cannot put as much work as is necessary, you need to be realistic and honest as well, you know, because that would put the expectations as well lower. All right. So the more realistic we are, I know it's, it's kind of like, God, really, Amir, are you telling me this? But yes, I need to tell you this it sucks. I know it's not nice to tell you, okay, we really need to be achieve, uh, trying to, to find something achievable, but that's how we're going to get motivated because if we are realistic and achievable with the first little or small or medium or big goal that you want to do in the 2023, because you've been realistic and it was something achievable, you can achieve it faster. And if you achieve it faster, then you can go for the next step and the next step and the next step. Make sense? So that's the first one, guys. So trying to be realistic and achievable. So your homework, okay, is going to be taking five minutes. Not now, later, when you can. And if you don't, well, I, I, I give you the homework. It's taking five minutes and break it down. What is it, the goals that I want to achieve in the 2023 that is going to be realistic and achievable? So imagine, let, let me put you a quick example. Imagine that you are 85 kilos and you want to lose about 20 kilos okay because you are 160 like me you are a, an economic size so if you are like me you need to lose about 20 kilos so that will be you need to break down the app but before breaking down and doing the math or saying okay one kilo per week blah 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 which is kind of like the logistics you need to ask yourself how many hours of work i'm doing how many how many hours can i go to the gym how motivated do, do i think i will be during the winter period and all these type of things is how you're going to be realistic. It's not about you having the perfect calorie counting, the perfect protein grams, because that's easy to do. That's, that's, that's something that I can do for you, that you can just take an hour, two hours of research, and then you're sorted. But what is really hard is making sure and evaluating your lifestyle. That's the tricky part, because that's how you are making unique and, and specific your fitness plan. Make sense? So that's going to be the first approach, okay? So I'm looking forward to because I will have a, a, a week ago with, with all of you, of course, and then we're going to evaluate this, okay? So I want you to get ready that before our call so then we can I can help you out, see? That, that's the beautiful thing about having me. I can make it even more achievable, yeah? Now, the second step, uh, guys, remember, use the chat box if you got any questions, if, if, if you got something that you want to say as well, that would be really important. Now. Winter period is coming up. Yeah, especially in England. Well, I'm lucky because I got 30 degrees. However, just to let you know that I work better and I got more motivation in the winter rather than the summer. I know it's weird, I know. But I got used to, after seven years living in England, for some reason, I prefer to, to have the cold. It make me awake. When I got too much sun on me, it make me sleepy. So <laughs> it's weird. But many of you might say, Emir, Okay, I, I'm going to, I will go to, to Colombia and, and let's swap, you know, <laughs> probably you will say that, but yes. Um, but the secret guys, and the second one that is really important tool is like discipline. Okay, it's not about motivation because in the winter time of February, January is going to be really tough for you and it's really easy to break down. But if you are disciplined, okay, and being disciplined is knowing what to do. It's not just doing the things for the sake of doing it. We know that we need to eat right. We know that we need to go to a gym. We know that we need to drink water. All this boring stuff, we know that we need to do it. You know? But if you know what to do, it's easier to do it. And that's the beautiful thing about you having a fitness plan with me that we are updating from a, every so often. So you know what you need to be disciplined on. And many people fail because they don't have they don't have the discipline because they fail of having a routine. So if you have a routine, 
you will be sorted. So stick to the routine as much as you can. And a little secret to, to have more discipline is something that I do because I'm waking up four in the morning here and I'm going about 11, 11.30 bed. So I'm having about four hours and a half, five hours. But the good thing is because I go the sun, it's, it's, not, it's a bit easier. But what I usually do, I put my alarm not next to me. I put it in the toilet. So then the alarm is bothering me so much that I need to wake up and I need to turn off the alarm. So that's a step out of the bed. And then when I open my eyes properly and say, oh, fuck, I'm out of the bed. You know, the alarm win me over. So that's a really good thing. So write down that one, remember. So that's something that you can do. Exactly. So then, yeah, yes, of course. But something that you need to understand, guys, is like uh, at the moment you're in a, in a journey, in a process uh, that you are creating a new physique and version of you in some way. Okay. So you are trying to get in the best shape of your life. and for that reason, you require more sleep than me. Once you're going to get to the level and your body is kind of like understanding that that's your new body shape, the one that you're going to get, it's easier to play around with with junk food, with alcohol, uh, with a sleeping little when, when, you, when you have to because your body already knows that this is your body. This is your new body. At the moment, your body is fighting with you. And for that reason, we need sleep. We need the water. We need all these little tools that is helping you out to fight the 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 fight between your mm -hmm. old self and the new self that you're getting makes sense i know it sounds difficult to understand that oh. but if you think about it a bit more you're saying i've been having this body shape for about 10 years three years 15 years whatever so your body is used to it your nervous system your hormones everything that your body is doing is used to to the self of the 80 kilos 90 kilos 100 kilos whatever kilos you go at the moment and he's fighting over because he's used to it you know, as same as we are used to like any specific food. For example, you, Daniel, you're from Spain. So you've been having a challenge to, to settle down here in England in the first months. Does your body kind of like, okay, I'm in a new environment. I need to adjust, but it's kind of like fighting a bit. I don't know, maybe that, that was in my case. And sometimes it's a general example just to give you, but it's many things. So your body is going to fight for the time that is necessary to, to get you to, to a different routine, to a different state. And that's the reason that in my case, I can sleep four hours, even three hours sometimes, and I will be fine. I won't get that much body fat that fast because my body has been used to this body shape that I got for the last eight years. So that's the thing. So I need to keep sleeping between four to three hours in the next year, and then I will be really bad. <laughs> I will get a lot of body fat because it's a year time that I've been repeating the same thing because all comes down to habits, guys. Okay? Everything is about habits. You give to your body the same thing, or like, for example, water and water for three months, six months, a year, your body is asking you alone to have water. That's the same thing with anything that you do. See? Either positive or negative. So hope that, that answers your question in some way. See? So a little homework for you is like, what is the little step that you can do to be more disciplined than yesterday? Like, for example, uh, myself. Uh, how can I give you an example to, 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 um, with fitness regards? So at the moment, I've been slacking on uh, my martial arts, which is, which is jiu-jitsu. I've been trying to look for, but I haven't found because I've been trying it quite a bit in different cities. So now that I will be a bit more settled in Cali for about two weeks, I found a jiu-jitsu place. So, so after the call, um, my studies, I will go there and practice it, even though I'm afraid because I know that my, my cardio won't be the best. I'm probably here in Colombia. They are really good, so they might break my, my arm. <laughs> but I need to do it. I need to, to go and, and see uh, what will happen. So that's my little step, is finding on Google Maps what is the jiu-jitsu near me and making sure that I will put the time there even though I'm not 100% as, as I was in Bristol, cardio-wise, example. So what it will be for you guys? What will be the little step? Okay, so think about it. What is the little step that I can do in order to be more disciplined than yesterday? See? And remember, all the key to achieve your goals is about reflection. It's okay. How am I doing at the moment? What is something that I can improve? And it doesn't need to be drastic. It doesn't need to be like from black to white or from white to black. It's just one little point, one little thing. And with this one, you're going to be better. Okay. 
So that's your homework for the second step. And then we're going really quick, guys. And that's really good because I know how valuable are your, is your time. But if you got any questions, you have put in the chat box or tell me. But the third uh, tool that, that usually I do also to create your fitness plans, guys, is like I ask myself, what do you need to learn or ask me to get the results? And that's one of the, the main tools that I use to create your fitness plans. And that's something that you can also apply. It's like, you need to sit down for a bit and say, why do I need to learn? And what do I need to ask more? Because remember, you are paying me to answer questions. It's, I'm, I'm the one that is making shortcuts for you to achieve your goals. So if I achieve my body shape in a year's time, or I master myself in some way because I'm still learning, um, you can achieve that in two years, maybe in a year time. If that makes sense. But you need to ask me. You need to come with questions because we all use social media. We all have friends that are talking about fitness and talking about weight loss and talking about diet because that's a usual thing. So instead of you doing your own homework, come to me with those type of questions. Or let's say, hey, Amir, look at it. Uh, I went to dinner with my friends and they've been talking about fasting or they've been talking about supplements. They've been talking about uh, blood sugar levels or they've been talking about probiotics or this or that. Or how about this? How about that? So you need to be that, that person. Because that's how you're going to enrich yourself. And also that's how you are putting down any, any general conversation. Because you are coming with a general thing that it might be the magic pill for you. But because I know you in some way, and then I'm working one-to-one -one with you, and I do this for a living, they are just listening or seeing that or watching that through social media. That they, they, those, those videos and pictures that you see on social media, they don't know you. They don't speak with you. They don't know about yourself. So how come you're going to apply something that, they, that is not based on, your, on yourself? Make sense? So anytime that you're listening to someone, you need to ask yourself, is this going to be applying to myself and lifestyle um, and everything and my medical history and my fitness history and my goals? That's really important. Yes, guys. So... Write down as well, and that's, that's a homework that I want to give you today, is like write down one thing that you need to learn about nutrition, about training, and about mindset. So it might be a really quick example, nutrition. Okay, so I want to learn how to uh, cook uh, meals, specifically dinner time, that it will take me really quick, or something that I can drink, for example, that's a, a more tricky one, that I can drink instead of eating in the evenings that it will be high in protein example yeah or it can be supplements you need to kind of like go really personal to you and say okay that's something that i want to learn and ask about nutrition training as well this is what i want to learn it's like if it's going to be the solution for me to do bench press and squats and using the barbells because i'm seeing everyone doing it and then you come with that question, and, and that's what I received in the last two years, because at the moment it's getting really famous to you to do the barbells and to do bench press and squats. Um, now Chantel, that is in a snap, you will see a lot of people doing it. And it's really cool, especially for women. Uh, it's a, an amazing way to, to see how strong you can be. And that's amazing. You know, I seen women there lifting heavy, heavy, heavy. And that's amazing because that's a stereotype of saying like women cannot lift that, that heavy. And then you, you challenge yourself and you do it and say, wow, amazing. However, because they are so keen to be strong so fast and they don't study themselves, you might have mus muscle imbalances or you might have lower back pain or maybe one leg is firing more up than other leg. And then how come you are getting injured after a year time? Do you know what I mean? So what Daniel put, I think she would be good. <laughs> yes, I would say so, yes. So uh, we'll give uh, Chantel a homework and we're going to ask her that if she's seen any girl that is super strong at the gym uh, to, to speak uh, in behalf of you and then ask her if she want to do one wrestling with you. <laughs> that's what we are going to do. Okay, that's what we're going to do. What do you think? Do you like the idea? Chantel, can you be the, the manager of Daniel and speak on his behalf? Maybe, okay. There you go. There you go. I'm trying to do something there for you. Eh? 
<laughs> so that's the thing. Oh, so, yeah, let's give it a go. Do you see? Okay, there you go, Dan. <laughs> Dan, Dan is preparing himself for a competition in February, so it's very exciting. He's going to Spain, so it's going to be fun. So I just ran down here. Perfect. <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> so, yes. Okay, guys. So this is the last one. So now, just to wrap up, any questions before wrapping up with a call? Put in the chat box. Everything so, was clear. We said about nutrition, mindset, training, and? A nutrition, training, and mindset. Mindset, remember, okay. it's not just. Yes. Yes. All Remember, right. guys, that mindset is not just about all oh, a psychology or this. Mindset is habits. Mindset is doing the mental workout, which sometimes is harder than going to the gym. Okay. The mental workout is making your 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 brain muscles work. How it's gonna be that is by you doing the same the same things all over again and again and again and again until it's becoming exciting to you to do it. Okay. So that's, that's something that you need to remember. So really quick, guys, just to share uh, important news with you. Uh, I have been working on something really uh, nicely before uh, I was even uh, leaving uh, UK, but I will be back anyway in, in the beginning of March with pretty exciting things. But before that, January, literally in a couple of days, I'm going to be showing you a, a new project that I'm creating with Aldo and it's going to be about food and it's going to be about nutrition. So we are creating the Mindset Latin American Kitchen Workshop. So we will be meeting up on a monthly basis to, to learn how to cook together, okay? But it's going to be literally Latin American food first, okay? Why? Because I'm in Latin America. <laughs> That's the thing. So I, I, can, I can be sharing with you about how to cook plantains, yuca, how, how to do arepas, how to do uh, tacos and burritos and different sauces. So I'm going to be giving you powerful tools so then you can go with fresh ideas rather than just send you a PDF, which is easy for me to, to, to do or to, to you to find on Google. We are going to, all of us, we are going to cook together. So you're going to put your, your hands on the ingredients. So you're going to be cutting the onion. You, you're going to be 100% on a full experience with us doing it. I mean, with us, I would be probably on a Zoom thing or something, but for now, but once I'm going to be in March, uh, I got many, many good things for you guys that I'm excited to share. And then I'm going to help you out how it's going to be the breakdown. But for January, it's going to be that. So I want you to be ready. I want you to make time for it. Same like you make time to watch Netflix. I want you to make time as well to you to learn how to cook more and more. Okay? Because that's the main thing at the moment. Many of you might not have a broad idea of how to cook or what to do for breakfast. Now I'm finding different ways to have breakfast. And you, I want you to have the same because those food, you can find it there. It's not plantain you can find anywhere in a, in, in a Jamaican Indian um, market. And it's a market, it's not a supermarket. Yeah, and they do delivery too. So that's the thing. So really excited for it. I'm gonna share more details in the WhatsApp group, but get ready for it because we're gonna have fun with it. Okay, and Aldo is a really nice, uh, a chef as well because he does that for a living as well so and then also you guys i want you to share all your little tips regards to to food and and, and cooking as well okay and if you don't have the skills don't worry and uh, you're gonna learn as well same so any questions guys before wrapping up with the call of today not so far all good clear nice uh, i mean so yeah i mean are you sure that with this Seminars, as you say, we're gonna lose weight. Are you oh. sure about it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's gonna be it's gonna be mainly high protein, low in carbs, uh, and focus on fat loss as always. So yeah, it's gonna be that. That's the 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 thing that we are gonna do is like we are gonna make the 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 workshops, the kitchen workshops, uh, focus on fat loss and also ma making you aware of that you can eat nicely, that you can enjoy your meals, that is gonna be quick and easy and healthy. And that you will rather cook at home most of the time than having a takeaway. That's the challenge that we are creating with, with Aldo. That's our promise and purpose behind it. So it's going to be really cool. Okay, guys. Beautiful idea. I, I like know. it. Beautiful idea. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. And we are always doing the, the best we can uh, to help you out because that's the purpose. So uh, have a lovely rest of the evening. I need to, to keep working here uh, on the back. 
but uh, let me know if you need anything you know now it's going to be 24 7 whatsapp so don't worry about it you can just text me at any time and i will be replying see let's take a picture before wrapping up uh, i was just gonna say i'm wondering if aldo will make his tacos teach us <laughs> how to make them they were amazing <laughs> well you you will know now how to do it by in the easiest way possible Mm -hmm. So we might do Mexican. We are going to do, we are going to put a pool because now on WhatsApp, you can do pools and questions. So I'm going to put a pool mm -hmm. there and, we, and I will put, guys, for January, do you prefer Mexican, Spanish, maybe Italian, maybe this? And then you will say, okay, I want Mexican. So if more boats mm -hmm. to Mexican food, we do Mexican food in January. Oh, great. We can, must, we can masterpiece the pizzas and pastas with me, guys. Actually. Do you see? Yeah. Um, nice. Okay. Do you see? So that's what we can do. So let's take a picture. Get ready for it. Three, two, one. Perfecto. Muy bien. <laughs> Excelente, guys. Okay. Have a lovely rest Thank of you, the me. day. Thank and you. And then Thank if you. you need me, just text me. All right. We'll be there for